Hello and welcome back to Sunny Talk Spurs and today I wasn't going to do a video but I've just seen the news of Timo Werner being linked with a move to Tottenham Hotspur. But before we get into this one, if you are new to the channel, why don't you leave a like on the video, subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs, and hit that notification bell, because we will let you know when I've gone live. And also, you can become a member on Sunny Talk Spurs. Link will be in the description and above my head right now. Become a member, support the channel, and you can get the exclusive Nice One Sunny podcast weekly starting from Wednesday. But let's get into the Timo Werner news. And, you know, as I said, I did my reaction to the FA Cup game last night. You know, that was quite exciting. Go back and watch that if you haven't checked it out already. And I did a reaction to the Eric Dyer transfer news. But nothing's ever simple at Tottenham. Another crazy story coming out this morning about Timo Werner. I just can't believe it. Timo Werner moving to Tottenham Hotspur. And, you know, Tottenham fans, good journalist chum, Florian Pletty, uh, Plettenberg has released the news. We obviously know him from the Harry Kane saga. He's also been across the Eric Dyer news. And he tweeted this morning saying this. Exclusive news. Timo Werner. He's on the verge to join Tottenham Hotspur on a six-month loan deal. It's very hot. Leipzig and Tottenham in final negotiations today. More details have to be clarified in brackets option to buy. The 27-year-old is ready to leave the training camp of RB Leipzig soon. So Sky Sports Germany are all over this one. And I'll be honest, I don't know what to think of it because, and people have already, uh, Joe Tomlinson in my group chat has already got receipts. Apparently I've compared him to the Patrick Bamford, the German Patrick Bamford in the past. So I've been a critic of Timo Werner. I have. I don't think he was amazing at Chelsea. I think he was wasteful. Pretty much like what we have sometimes in Richarlison. I just don't think he works off the left. I, you know, he, when he was at Leipzig, first time round, he was incredible, amazing. He scored against Tottenham in the Champions League, which knocked us out a few years back under Jose Mourinho, I believe. And now, in his development, what is he, 27 years old, alone with an option potentially. Is he the perfect forward? You know, we've been linked to so many different forwards. We've been linked to like Dominic Solanke, Santiago Jimenez, uh, Antonio Nusa, who... Some of them are, like, not proven yet. Solanke is proven at a Premier League level, but too much. Timo Werner, I really don't know. It's really hard because part of me thinks, yeah, he's that's it. He's done. He's washed. He's not good enough for the Premier League. We've seen it. You know, it's like basically how Arsenal fans were with Kai Havertz. It's, it must be something to do with Chelsea. There's something going on at Chelsea that just attaches to these players and makes them look absolutely rubbish and just ruins their career. But Timo Werner's the same, you know. Amazing player before, went to Chelsea, it just didn't work. Obviously, he did win the Champions League, though, so something more than Tottenham can sing about. But then this, I, I can imagine there's a lot of Tottenham fans now probably reacting to this in the comments or like just online in general on Twitter slash X saying, but Andrew's the sort of manager who could improve a player like Timo Werner and get the most out of him. And, you know, when we look at our forward options at the moment, you know, there is a severe lack of goals. I think in that FA Cup game last night, I said to one of my mates, I'm worried where our goals are going to come for with the lack of no Sun because he's obviously at the Asian Cup. No Madison, still out for a little while. But Richarlison, a bit wasteful. You know, he can be hit and miss. He is in a good vein of form at the moment, but he is missing chances. Kulisevsky, you know, he has scored more goals this season than usual, but, you know, still not as consistent as we'd like him to be. And same with Brennan Johnson. I think Brennan Johnson has got the potential to be a really good player. But his decision-making has got to be worked on. Like, sometimes he'll do a cross high instead of low or vice versa. Sometimes he'll shoot when he could have taken a touch. So adding Timo Werner into that mix, is that good? I, I, I don't know. I'm really unsure. I'm still going to say this happens. I'm going to stick to my guns and think, like, I've got to be proven here. I've got to, you know, actually be convinced that this is a good signing, that this is um, a signing that's going to benefit Tottenham. Uh, the way we play. Maybe our style of football will help Timo Werner. I don't know. I just think <clears throat> I'm going off what I've seen. I've got evidence in the bank. And to me, Timo Werner is not proven really at any level. Bundesliga maybe, but even in his second spell, he hasn't set the world alight. And Leipzig are a bit, you know, they've got a new talisman in uh, Xavi Simmons, who I wanted Tottenham to sign actually in the summer. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if PSG wanted to do a swap deal with Harry Kane. But, you know, 
the Bundesliga is just a weird league. You know, we're seeing at the moment, I've, I've, I've reacted to us trying to maybe sign Suho Garassi from Stuttgart. And I, I, I'm on the fence about him and he only cost 15 million. But this being a loan with an... I mean, we don't even know if it's an option, an obligation. At the moment, it might just be a flat-out loan that Tottenham just see as like someone who can, you know, just be a stopgap. Maybe that's what he'll be seen as. But if he is a stopgap, What's the point? You know, we, we you know we've been linked to loads of different youngsters, up and coming players from across Europe. Is this sort of the avenue we want to go down? I'm not really convinced about that. But as I say, Timo Werner is a strange situation. Um, and also, what's interesting is Anne said we weren't going to do much in the transfer window. We know we want to sign a centre back. Radusson, uh, Radu Dragusson rather looks like it's back on and quite close. Uh, midfielder was an option, but winger come striker was at the low end of the priority list. So maybe this is just sort of like a tick box to sort of, you know, get us to the end of the season. You know, we've still hopefully go far in the FA Cup and we've still got a lot of Premier League games to play. Maybe he won't start. Maybe he's a bench option, but I just, it is a bit baffling. I'm just very confused why we are going in for a player like this. I never thought the words Tottenham and uh, Timo Werner would be linked together. And it looks like we just like going for Chelsea rejects sometimes, whether it be managers or their players. But yeah, that's my opinions on it. As you can say, uh, tell, I'm very on the fence. And he has to convince me a lot because, you know, football is a game of, you know, proving people wrong. And I'd love it, actually, if he came and just, you know, started really solid and was all guns blazing because it really showed Chelsea what they let go. But as I say, let me know in the comments down below, what do you make of this Timo Werner transfer news? I think it's absolutely bonkers, to say the least. But, you know, some of you can try and convince me in the comment section that it could be a good deal as well. And as I said at the top of the video, if you are new to the channel and just discovering me, why don't you leave a like on the video, subscribe to Sunny Talks Bird and hit that notification bell because it will let you know when I've gone live. And also, you can become a member and support the channel, support Sunny Talk Spurs, and get exclusive podcasts called Nice One Sunny Weekly, which are like a Q&A. So leave your questions in the comments down below for that Q&A as well. And, you know, ask me your questions about Timo Werner. I'd be really, I'd be really willing to answer some of them. No doubt about that. But that's it for today. I'll see you again on the next one. And hope you have a really good weekend. Bye-bye.